If you've recently been through a breakup, it can feel like you've lost everything. But it's not over yet. The truth is that it's completely possible to win back your ex if you follow my advice. And it starts with making your ex worry about losing you. Keep watching and I'll explain how this works. Hey guys, you know me, I'm Brad Browning, author of the best-selling X Factor program, the single best resource on the internet for anyone brokenhearted and wanting their ex back. In fact, I've been helping people win back their exes for over 10 years now. So please subscribe to this channel if you're looking for a second chance with your ex. So onto the topic, how can you make your ex worry about losing you when they've already dumped you? Well, the truth is human psychology is complicated. On some level, you know, they've already decided to separate themselves from you and try to move on with their lives. But on another level, especially if your relationship was a significant, a serious one, they still hold a lot of love for you. And that part of them doesn't want to lose you. If you've ever broken up with somebody, I'm sure that you can relate. Now, if you do want a second chance, then you need to focus on this part of them. Follow these steps to make your ex worry about losing you. Number one is to disappear from their life. So the single best way to make your ex worry about losing you is to get some distance. Many people react to being dumped by telling their ex, you know, what a big mistake they've made, how they're going to regret this and how they just lost out on their one chance for happiness. And while I understand that kind of impulse, it's not going to have the result that you want. If you keep showing up to yell at your ex for their mistake, their main takeaway is going to be that you still care and that you're not over them. Now, this is where actions speak louder than words. You need to separate completely as soon as possible following the breakup. Trust me, I know how difficult this can be, but there really is just no way around it. It's essential if you do want another chance with your ex. Now, this kind of clean break accomplishes several things. It shows them that you have the self-respect that you, and you don't want to be around people who don't value you. It shows them that you respect their, their desire to break up and won't try to manipulate them into feeling sorry for you. It gives both of you a chance to process the breakup, which prevents more fighting. And most importantly, it makes them miss you. So do whatever you have to do. Cut off all contact and give them space right now. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you already know that this process is part of what's called the no contact method. Now, I've been advocating this method for years on YouTube because it's the only method that really truly works to get your ex back. So no contact in a nutshell, well, that involves cutting off all contact with your ex for 30 days or so following a breakup, no calls, no emails, no texts, and no in-person hangouts. Now, you don't want to be rude to your ex, but you, you also don't want to engage with them either. And you want to spend those 30 days or so focusing on yourself and improving your own life. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it than that, but those are the basics. If you want to learn more, I urge you to head over to breakupbrad.com after this video is over. Uh, I've put together a free video presentation there that goes into a lot more detail about how to best employ no contact to win back your ex. That's breakupbrad.com to watch that for free. Now, number two is to make them jealous. Now, jealousy is essentially the fear that the person you care about will find a better option and leave you in the dust. So if you can make your ex jealous, then you can make them worry about losing you. Of course, this requires a bit of a light touch. You know, if your ex can tell that you're trying to make them jealous, then they're going to feel manipulated and they'll be able to tell that you still care, which is going to hurt the illusion that you're actually moving on. So how can you make them jealous without revealing your intentions? Well, you're not going to want to hear this, but the best way is to st start dating somebody new. Now, I realize this may be the last thing that you feel like doing right now, but it really is a foolproof way to make your ex jealous and make them worry about losing you. So, you know, I encourage you to download a dating app or two and just set up some friendly dates. Or better yet, you know, have a friend set you up with somebody. Really, the goal here is to have the news that you're dating again, get back to your ex. So if you can ask a mutual friend, then that's even better. Now, just remember that you're doing this to get your ex back. So don't feel guilty about it. It's all for a good cause. And not only will this make them jealous, but it's also going to give you a confidence boost. It's going to be extremely valuable when it comes time to reconnecting with your ex. Now, if you can't manage this right now, you can't stomach the idea of seeing somebody new, then there is another way to make your ex feel jealous. You need to start spending time in social situations with new and attractive people. So get out there in the world and go to parties and events, try new things, connect with new people. And while you're doing all that, cultivate a positive and friendly energy. And if it feels right, you know, take some pictures with attractive members of the opposite sex and post them subtly on social media. It only takes a few pictures like this posted without comment or explanation to make your ex's mind run wild with jealousy. 
And social media is actually a great way to make your ex jealous without revealing your intentions because it's a way of communicating with them indirectly. So use this to your advantage by posting positive and fun things that are going to make them miss having you in their life. And above all, avoid posting you know, depressing things and especially you know, the cryptic song lyrics about your loneliness. It's definitely not a good look. Now the third way is to make changes and improve your life. So if you want your ex to worry about losing you, you have to take strides to separate yourself from them. So this can of course include going no contact, moving on with your life, or simply improving yourself. You see, the more you change for the better after your breakup, the more they'll start to look at you differently. And this is going to show your ex that you weren't the person that they thought they knew. You know, you had potential that they never realized. And more than that, you're growing despite their absence. And when you see someone has changed in your absence, you can't help but feel like you've missed something. Like they're moving away from you and you're going to lose them forever. So if you can make your ex feel this way, you've gotten one step closer to winning them back. Now this change can be something you know as small as getting a new haircut or as big as you know joining the army. But the most important thing is that you're growing and improving your life in a way that actually brings a benefit to you and matches up with your vision of the future. So there's really no way to fake this step. You know, don't go out and buy a new car if you can't afford one just to impress your ex. Just look at the parts of your life that are lacking and use this breakup as motivation to improve them. Now, don't brag about these things to your ex, even after you've made it through no contact and you're beginning to reconnect with them. Just let it come up naturally, or better yet, you know, have them hear about it through mutual friends. Again, actions speak louder than words here, so even if they never know exactly what's different about you, they're going to be able to tell that you've changed through subconscious cues like your happiness and your newfound confidence. Now, if your, your ex is particularly stubborn or you're dealing with a unique situation, I encourage you to consider signing up for my online coaching program at breakupbrad.com slash coaching. I'd love to work with you directly to work out a plan to ensure you get back with your ex. Just go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching to see if I have any slots available and to sign up today. And that just about does it for this video. If you have any specific questions about the process, leave them in the comments below as usual and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.